Hi guys, we're back now for our black canvas painting, lesson three. So let's see what we can get done in this one. So this is a painting that I did from a picture that I took down in Boring Park in Newfoundland. And um, so then I decided to add a cabin just for a bit of fun. So uh, let's see, let's see. So let's try to get rid of those lines over here. See this chalk? Well, you can just wipe them out now and get rid of them. See? Just get rid of your chalk marks. That's why I like doing chalk, chalk because it just wipes right off. And that's just water, so that's not going to hurt anything. There we go. Just wipe them off. Done. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on the cabin a little bit, I think. I think that'd be a good spot to start. So use your... Uh, Use your sable brush, sable flat chisel brush, and add a little bit of uh, white and a little bit of blue. I'm going to trim out the cabin a little bit. How's that? So let's add a little bit of white and a little bit of blue. And maybe, hmm, that'll do for now. Oh, no, let's go a little bit of red. Okay, there we go. A little bit of red and then a little bit of white. So let's take the cabin and take the edge here and just highlight that edge so we'll know where the edge is, okay? There we go. So that's one edge. And then we'll do another one. Actually, the edge is down here, isn't it? Okay, we'll leave it there. And then we'll come down this way. There we go. That's all right. We got a, a larger front there. And then we will highlight the top here just to get uh, the top of the roof so we'll know where it is. Good. Just on the edge. So we're just sort of outlining, outlining the, the roof. And then we will just take some red paint and a bit of brown. Put that together. You get almost a burgundy color. And we'll put some um, we'll put some color on the roof. Let's just say it's that color. So we'll just bring that down here, and we will. I'm gonna pull up from the edge there. That'll make it a little bit easy for you to get that edge. Touch and pull, touch and pull, touch and pull. Good. So. Let's add some more brown and red, just brown and red, and pull up or pull down, does whatever is easy for you. Let's get that on there. Okay, so let's get that on there. We may do a couple of coats, obviously, you can see that it needs a couple of coats. So I'm just going to put that on there for now. Good. Let's see, now that, that's getting on there, so we got that much on. So now what we'll do with the front of our cabin is we will get our brown and our black again. So brown on one side and black on the other. And so we got some boards already made, which is kind of nice, but now you just want to touch them up. There we go. Touch them up. Some brown and black. Okay, we're going to get some more brown if you need it. Pull down, pull down from that edge, get rid of those flowers I got there. That's why I went over a little bit, so so that shouldn't be there, those flowers. So I gotta cover them up. I should say the bushes. There we go. So we'll just pull down, pull down, pull down, pull down. And we will go into the brown and black again and we'll pull down, pull down, pull down. There we go. Just pull down. If you need more black, just go get it. The black helps get, get it look like boards are in there. Good. What I'm going to get you to do is, might need a little more brown. Just put it on until you're happy. Go to the edge. The edge should be around here. There we go. 
the edge should be over there. Good, and just bring it down. Now what I'm going to get you to do is put some black, uh, actually some blue and red. Let's go blue and red. Just go blue and red. And take that blue and red and put it under the the, um, the eave. Put that under the eave. So we can get a nice shadow underneath the eave. Okay. Under the eave. We'll probably have to highlight the edges again. We need to do some more trimming and and then just bring that down into your cabin. Bring it down so it all goes together. Good. And on the other side, we'll go with more um, some blue and black, and we will highlight this side over here darker. Put a little edge underneath there first, and then pull down. Good. Some brown on top of that. There we go. Brown, maybe a bit of black. But we want this side a little darker because it's in shadow. There we go. We'll do some highlighting on that in a little while. So now we might need some a door. How about a door? Why don't we put a door in? What kind of a door do we want? Let's just take this brush that you have here. It's your chiseled edge sable brush. Make it nice and chiseled. And let's find a place for a door. Maybe just in the center. It doesn't matter. Touch and pull. If you want it wider, you can touch and pull. There we go. We'll trim that up after. Maybe a little door. I don't know if you want a window. Maybe a small window. Just take your brush a very small push, push, maybe one over here. So, just because I'm sitting down, I got a crooked window. Well, it's an old crooked house anyway. It's a crooked little cabin. That's okay. All right, good. Now, what we'll do is we will, let's, Take, I want to teach you a little bit of palette knife painting. I think I've, I've showed you some before. But take your palette knife and run it through brown and run it through white just so it mixes on top of your palette. Maybe a little bit of black. Just put all those colors on your palette knife on either side. Because you're right handed, I'm left handed so I could fool you up a little bit. So just touch and pull over some of that on top of that rock there. And that will scrape on, if you scrape it on, it'll give you some nice, uh, nice um, textured layers. So we'll just put on a little bit up here. Alright, so it looks like I need more brown. It's kind of light. I'm just going in and get some more brown, that's all. Just brown. Just dipped into it. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy here. We're just doing our thing. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. All right. Let's get some more brown. There we go. So we have a little top now to our little hill there. We can also pull it out further if you want. You know, depends on how far out you want to put it. It's okay. So now we got a nice little top to our hill. Probably we'll put a little bit of um, brown, white, and a bit of yellow. Just come down here and put a little bit down here too. Just scrape it on. Just scrape it on. As if you're trying to clean your brush. That's all. Just scrape it on. That'll give you some texture. We're probably going to put some grass there too. Just scrape it down there. Scrape, scrape. There we go. Just scrape it on. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just scraping it on. There we go. Pretend you're cleaning your brush off. If you're right-handed, you'll probably pull down this way. Just pull down. So, there we go. There's a bit of light hitting on the edge of here. Remember I said the light was coming over this way? We'll just throw a little bit of light on here. 
There we go, maybe a little bit of light coming in here. We'll play with that one after. Okay, and so we will just put on, just, just go ahead and scrape that paint on there. Scrape it on, clean your brush, clean your, clean your knife. There we go, clean your knife. Good, I'm gonna put a bit of black and brown in there, just to dark, get some shadow in there. There we go. Just scraping it on. That's all. There we go. That's all. That's, that's almost good enough. So this is lesson three. So hopefully we can get this done one more lesson after this. So I'm going to take a break. May, I may not get more. Vi I'll try to get a couple more videos up. Then I'm going to take a break for a couple of weeks, maybe. Um, so I'll get, you got lots to work with. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm going to see now because I need to get a few more things done. There we go. Good. Now that's how you use your palette knife. Just have some fun with your palette knife. Good. And now what we'll do is we will take, let's take our fan brush because I want to use as many brushes as I can in this painting for you so we can learn different things. We already used our fan brush but let's try using our fan brush because uh, in my painting, my picture that I took in Boring Park, there was a little river coming out from behind a tree. So I might have to put a tree here. So maybe we will put a little tree there. How about that? Put Tap into black and into some white. Which your fan brush is fine. And then just bring down, just from the top down, Bring down this old tree right on top of here. Good, see, that's fine. So then we'll just take a couple of, uh, take a couple of tree stumps out there, tree trunks, tree trunk. So just take a tree trunk out off there. I'll go back and we'll do that again after. So, I'm just getting things in place now, because like I said, I, I'm just sort of trying to get things in place before I do anything else. So let's just put a little tree up here. Why not? And I clean your brush, your, your fan brush off. And let's get some water flowing out from here. Let's see if that works. I don't know if that's going to work. I hope it does. So I'm going into some of my blue. I got paint all over the place here. So I got some blue. And I'll just go with the blue for now so we can establish where we're going to put this. If your fan brush, so we'll say that water is coming out through here somewhere. And down over here. So let's hope that works out. So we'll come down here. Down, down, down with your blue paint. Right down into the water. There we go. Now. Let's see if we can get some water flowing over that little hill there. So we'll get some more. I'm not sure how thick to put it. Maybe we can thicken it up a small bit. It's falling out over. Maybe it's falling out in here a little bit. I hope. Hope this works out. So let's just pull that in here. Good. Okay, I just got to get some more blue paint because, because I ran out and I got all mixed up with my black. So, it's good when you get organized, but sometimes you're too busy to get organized. Okay, so the water is coming up here somewhere and we pull down, pull down and into the water. Okay, now, next step you're going to do is just wipe off your brush a little bit and then pull through your white pull through your white so we get some water going on so let's see let's see let's pull it down over the water pull it down over the blue and down 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 she goes pull it right down into the water good put some more paint on if you need it some more white and pull it down again I got lots of white on there now. Maybe it did break up a little bit there. And it's just falling down, falling down. There we go, falling down. Falling down all over the place. Good. Now, so I'm just going to 
get that to go in with that water to make it look natural. Make it look like it's falling all over the place. I'm just tapping at it. There we go. Good. So I want that to look like it's coming from behind the tree. So I'll have to get the tree to come down a little further. Okay? We'll fix that up up there. We'll figure it out. I'm sure we will. Right? So I'll just put as much water on here as you want. I'm just tapping at it to give it a kind of a, a flowy look. A flowy look. That's a new one. I'm just going to tap down here just to say that it's falling into the water. And then I'm going to put some water lines underneath here. 